Hey guys, Mr. Pocket here again, and today we're in another video. And today I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you a tip, a trick, something for my channel not to just go empty for a whole week. <laughs> well, guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to shape, more or less. <laughs> well, okay, let's get straight to the point and let's not dilly dally around the topic. I, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> please, someone help me. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you how to shape a, a shape, just, you know, a normal shape. Like, let's say circle okay so you draw the circle okay yep i'm gonna grab this circle and i'm gonna put it in the middle because i have a terrible ocd no i don't <laughs> why, why, why am i playing um okay so okay and now you need to choose where to where the light is going to come from okay let's say that the light is going to come from here okay and then you have this spectrum and that's how the light is going to shine, okay? Imagine this is the earth, this is the sun, and that's how the light is more or less going to shine. So, okay, let's say that our ball is purple, okay? And um, we're going to put purple, okay? Yeah, fine. And then you're going to choose a color. I can, I, I normally do two things, okay? I'm going to show you the first thing, and then I'm going to show you the second thing. All right. The first thing is go up the gradient, okay? And just, you know, use another color that is more reddish or more bluish depending how like if I want to paint the picture to be shading warm or cold alright so let's oh, oh I'm doing it in the same layer yeah something very important guys just do it in separate layers because the next thing that I'm gonna show you needs is it like a dog needs needs for you to do it in the second layer okay so you kind of you know you kind of do it like that alright okay mm -hmm. Mm, no. Wait, guys, I nearly have it. I uh, oh, what? <laughs> uh, right. I I I just realized I really okay. It doesn't matter. Fuck it. I just realized I really fucked up because I just a really light color and it's supposed to be a shadow. But oh well, who cares? Let's just change the saturation later. And well, you know what? It looks cool like that. <laughs> okay, so now you have the shaded part more or less. Okay. And then you take the blur pencil or brush or whatever you call it, and then you just slide it over. Okay. And why? Oh, okay, right. Sorry. Okay, now. So, um, you have to make sure that the brush is kind of high because if not, the, just the resolution overall is kind of shitty. Okay, now that you see that this is blurred out, you need to go into filters. That's what I do. You can do any other way, but this is just how I'm doing it, okay? You can do the filters. And you choose Glossarium Blue. And then you just blur it. Alright? And then what I do if I want the shadow to be less visible, I just kind of toy with the opacity of the, of the layer until I find the thing that I want. And yeah, it's more or less like that. More or less. This looks really shitty, but it's more or less like that. Okay, let me show you in an actual example because it, it, looks, it looks kind of better when, when I show you in an actual example. Okay, let's say I'm drawing a face, okay? Okay, let's let's just draw one of my characters from I don't know where. Okay, let's choose the pen. I'm doing a horrible job. Okay, again. Okay. So this is one of my characters from the comics that I'm going to do that I posted a poll on, on Twitter for you to see if the for me to see if you want a comic or not. Alright. And this is more or less him. It's kind of a teacher that is it's a bit crazy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, so you do this. Right. It looks more okay, perfect. And now he has really like he's really strict. You know what? He's even more strict. He's really angry. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> he's even <laughs> he's saying what happened to my classroom? <laughs> Alright, so now you do a second layer under it to color it. You always do this. I always do the second layer under it so the line doesn't the lines doesn't get messed up. Alright, so I'm gonna choose the color of the face. It's really white. Okay, not that white. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, and his hair is yeah pretty white. He's an old man. So you know what? I'm gonna do it kind of gray just for the sake of this. Oh, right, I forgot the ear. I always forget the ear. Okay. And. Okay. 
There we go. So now we're going to do the highlights, and the highlights have to go above the paint. If not, you're not going to see the highlights or the shadows or whatever we're going, okay? So first we're going to do the shadows. And it's going to be kind of really a warm, dark color. So the light is going to come from there. Okay. And we are just going to shadow this place in. Okay. And now we are going to take the blur tool. Right. And see, it looks, it already looks better, okay? Now, the thing that we are going to do is shadow the hair. Uh, so we are going to choose specific places in which to shadow, not that part, because I just realized that part is where the light is coming. And just, you know, shadow it. I, I don't really have any places where I'd rather shadow, I just go with my heart. If it goes bad, well, it goes bad. If it goes good, well, no problem then. <laughs> Well, okay, now we kind of blur it out as well. If you leave any, okay, if you leave like any areas that you want to show that is like curly here, just don't blur it too much. Like I know I have it 100, but just don't blur it too much. And now if I was going to finish this and I really want to do it, I probably would put a highlight, kind of a pinkish color, yeah, like this. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, more like, yeah, like this. He's, he's kind of, he's, he's cute. He's a cute, he's a cute, angry teacher. <laughs> Oops, okay. Mm. Perfect. Oh, come on, he's perfect. Don't tell me that he isn't perfect. He's even, he's even, uh, I don't know what he's even. Well, now you just do the eyebrows, okay. He's, he's, he didn't sleep in a lot of time. And yeah, that's him. Okay, guys, this is more or less how you shadow a person's face. Well, guys, I hope, well, no, actually, I have one more thing before I go out. I'm going to show you how to properly shadow a triangle. This is one of the hardest thing in the world. Why? I don't know. I just feel like showing you how to shadow a triangle. Well, it's more like a triangle shape because all right, this is the thing. When something has um, angles, okay, you actually have to calculate more or less how the shadow is gonna hit. And if it's a three-dimensional thing, it's not. It, I I was lying. It's not. A, it's not a. Um, it's not a triangle. It's a. It's a pyramid. Okay. So okay, you do that. Fine, it's a really weird pyramid, but it's still a pyramid. All right. So when you do that, you have to calculate more or less where the shadow, where the lightning is come from, like I already told you, and then where it's hidden. Okay, in this uh, pyramid, it's going to hit. Wait, it's gonna hit. All right, let's let's just do a rough sketch so we have an idea where it's going to hit. It's gonna hit here. It's gonna hit here. And it's actually going to hit here as well. Okay, that's where the shadow is going to go. And you know, it's not going to hit there. It's going to hit there. And then it's going to hit here. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no. Okay, it's going to hit here. And it's going to hit here. Yeah, more or less. More or less. Not perfect, but it will do. Okay, now you just color the pyramid. Uh, 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 yellowish here. And a bit. Uh, okay, there we go. Not that much. Uh, okay, here, here we are. Right, here we are. Well, why, did, why did I do that? Okay, just a bit yellowish. Can't get myself together today. Ah, well, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. I, I just colored the whole thing in. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing well at life. I'm doing pretty well at life. Okay, so now we take the, the color that we took it before. Okay, I don't care if the background is, is, is all yellow. I don't. Homer Simpson has been here and has shit all over all over my background, but I don't I don't care. I still I still have a positive attitude in life. Okay, so then you just blur it like I told you. Blur it, blur it. Why can't I blur it? <laughs> okay, there I go. Okay, and I don't know what's happening to my shadowy... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, if there's so many mistakes that you can't fix nothing that you do in your life when you're trying to do a tutorial, 
just just take the airbrush. Just, just do a favor to yourself and just take the airbrush and just airbrush it. Just I I can't I can't do that anymore. I I can't. I can't. Okay, there. See, it, it's not recommendable, but I'm kind of out of options right now. So yeah, I, I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't I don't really care. See, and that's that's more or less how you shadow a three dimensional object. More or less. I don't know. I'm learning as well. Okay, guys, don't criticize me. Just, I I know this video is going to have a lot of dislikes. Just please don't don't kill me, guys. I I, I swear I'm a good person. Kind of. In, in a way. I mean, I don't do shitty videos all, all day. I do other stuff. I'm 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 a couch potato. Part time couch potato, but part time YouTuber. Doesn't it seem good? I mean, for me it seems awesome. Please don't go, guys. Just, just please don't go. Okay, um, done. My piece of art of the century. Let's just sign it for art's sake. Mr. P. Yeah, this is the signature of Mr. P. Yeah, like that. Hashtag Mr. P. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, subscribe, like, comment, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching guys.